Hello, my name is Chris Wilson, NRVTA generator instructor and inventor of the Hertz Tamer. So let's talk about if, why you need it and what it actually does. So this here is the Hertz Tamer. What this does is cleans up the dirty voltage coming out of a conventional generator and gives you the correct Hertz reading. Let me show you what I mean by that. There I have 183 Hertz. That's obviously incorrect. Okay, so you simply take the plug and plug it into the generator. Then on Hertz setting, you stick your one probe, just the tip in to the neutral, and you put your other probe in the Hertz port, and now you see the correct Hertz. 61.6. Now if you want to measure voltage, we have a convenient voltage port here. So you can see we have 100 and almost 40 volts on this generator because this generator is rigged for the students to diagnose and repair. Okay, so now I got the oscilloscope hooked up. Let's see what the Hertz hammer is actually doing to the sine wave. Ready? Trying to get no shadow. There you go. Oh. Ain't got no gas in Ain't it. Got no gas. All right, there we can see that the sine wave is all chopped up and got a lot of distortion in it. That's on both. Now let's go ahead and move it over to Hertz. Look at how much cleaner that sine wave is. Go back to volts for me. Oh man, look how much more distorted that is. One more time, go back to Hertz. Look how much cleaner it is. That is crazy how different that is. So you can clearly see what the Hertz Tamer is doing on an oscilloscope. It's definitely a tool to help you diagnose and repair generators. It'll let you set the frequency correctly on a conventional generator. So remember, when you're putting your probes in, you don't have to push them in all the way. All you gotta do is just push the tips in. Just like that. When you measure hertz, you're going between neutral and hertz. When you're measuring volts, between neutral and volts. If you try to measure volts on the hertz port, you're gonna get an incorrect reading. So make sure you're on the volts port if you're going to measure volts and the hertz port if you're going to measure hertz. You can find the hertz tamer on rvtesters.com. This is going to give you the ability to be able to adjust the hertz, which is very important, on most of your generators that have that very dirty voltage that's coming out of them. Now this is for the conventional style generators. Generally, the inverter style generators have a very clean voltage coming out and this is not an issue for them. But on the conventional generators, which there's a lot of them out there, you need to be able to see the correct hertz in order to adjust the speed of the engine.